in the yellow, we've got... I think this is Civvy. Yeah, this is Civvy playing as human. So we've got ourselves a human mirror to begin with. He's actually random. And on the other side, playing also humans in the blue. This is Karen. I've already casted two replays of Karen on YouTube, by the way. So do ch check those out. We're going to pause here for like three seconds to let the game catch up. We've got a Wolfguard Commander versus Mage uh, pick. So there's a Royal Mage. And we've not covered this much uh, on YouTube. So I'm going to go through these skills. We've got the Fire Nova, which is... Uh, a damaging spell to creatures around the caster and they also are set on fire there's also the spark which is a single target damage and applies arcane scorching which you can later uh, combo with other spells you also got ice magic so you got hailstrom uh, which is like the blizzard ability in warcraft you got biting frost uh, which can freeze enemies that are chilled I'm pretty sure oh no it's actually uh a uh, single target damage, sorry. This is the ice shell that is actually for the caster, so it's a self cast. Well, the Wolfcard Commander is gonna pressure, uh, probably taking out an outpost flag, and uh, we've got a concentration picked up, we've got mana picked up. Deep Waters has already uh, got three of these. Biting Frost is just not gonna get any chill component just, just yet. Uh, whereas for Current, we have got the uh, Whirlwind, which is an AoE spell. We got Shadow Strike, which is teleport plus single target damage. We got Fatal Bull, which is single target damage and interrupt, so stops the spell from being cast. We got Deep Waters as well for focus. It's probably one of the most important skills that absolutely everyone picks up. And yeah, for build builders, we got Wood, Wood stone food and I'm pretty sure we got the mirror here humans need the most balanced economy because their stuff just costs a bit of everything so as they upgrade these sectors uh, they're actually spending a bit of every resource it's gonna be another takedown but city very very quick with that uh, flag construction is gonna teleport out, but both players are down to zero health potions, so that was some hellish harassment. Very, very nice play by Karen to go for these middle sections immediately. <coughs> Looks like the outpost will go down. I gotta say, this is fantastic for Karen. like, he's getting so many more sectors, he's already a sector up. And he's working in parallel to Civi's second sector, so... Having this lead is just great. But the Wolfguard Commander will have to leave. I'm pretty sure Civi bought some potions? Yes. No unit production just yet. From oh, there's infantrymen. Uh, Karen has made two infantrymen already, so those could be used to uh, help with creeping. We we'll have to see where that goes. Karen is picking up these godstone regions in the center, so there's gonna be one here as well. Um, then over here, there's lots for godstones too. We just cannot see those in the fog of war. Not too familiar with human mirrors, I have to admit. Is this even being upgraded? Oh no, CV put down a woodcutter without upgrading this. Oh man. Yeah, you, you can definitely see how claustrophobic CV has to be feeling right now. But he can still pull this back, it, it's not the end of the world, but it does matter. Some gold that hasn't been picked up here, actually. Oh, wait a second, is that Wolfguard Commander in trouble? Karen did not 
pick up anything. Oh, gets a lucky block! And teleports out just barely. There's some uh, affliction on it with the arcane scorching, but is gonna survive thanks to the territory regeneration bonus. Definitely needs to pick up something now. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a merchant here, so could pick up some uh, some potions. This is way too dangerous running around like this. Still no barracks. We got extra woodcutters and hunting cabins all over the place. For both players, no doubt. Oh, double barracks going down for Civi now. Very, very far away from the front, so there's going to be some reinforcement times to take into account there. Look at that, boys. Hurry up. Fun. And yeah, uh, question in the chat is, are the spawns asymmetric? Yes, they are. So I think this player has a little bit of an advantage because they can uh, go down this way and, you know, they get a reasonable creeping path. And they can contest this very easily. Whereas the other side, if you want to go this way, you can't contest uh, this region. So if you want to go for creeps, you have to go this way and then here and then up here. Which is a longer path. Oh, CV is again here pressuring. Nice find. Uh, is going to get the kill on the infantryman? Oh, just about not. It's 13 hit points left. Royal Mage is gonna have to run. So the Wolf Card Commander has healed up. But this outpost is about to finish, so arrow support is coming in, and that infantryman will die. More infantrymen being made. But Civi is actually going for Arbalists. Obviously, range units beat regular infantry, just to the nature of them having range. Uh, double barracks coming up for for Karen as well, and there's some creeping that's gonna happen. There's still a lot of creeps to clean up over here. Should mean a lot for experience level three versus level four at the moment. So Civi has been doing a better job at that. Uh, once he gets the ultimate abilities, he has like a meteor power, Starfall. Which does siege damage, very very nice against buildings, and has some AoE components as well. Got some harassment going on with these arbalists. Picked up two stone cutter people. The rest have been called in with the, with the bell. No repair as of yet, but the heroes coming in too. And there's more arbalists. There's a bunch of infantrymen coming, and uh, yeah, more on the way. It's also a godstone up there. That's going to give access to more potions eventually. Stonecutter has been taken out. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Is he going to take out this frontier outpost? I seriously doubt that. I'm a little bit surprised that none of the players have gone after any of the heavier creeps. But we're seeing some great worker harassment here behind the tree line. Oh man, call HR. Got the defensive army, however, now. Is Karin gonna be able to make it, though? I mean, that Wolfguard commander is not looking too hot. And the Arbalists are picking off the infantrymen as well. Has to run away. Yeah, CV can definitely consider co going after the Skellies and getting level 5 and getting the Meteor thing. Starfall. Karin still only at level 3 and only has a few infantrymen. Still no Arbalists. Uh, is he making them though? He is. So that's good news. And here goes the first batch. There's four of them now. So he can also consider uh, going after the after the Skellies. There's some um, extra harassment. And the barracks are right next to CB right now. So Defender's advantage is strong. The count of Arbalists is really strong too. Oh, he's just gonna take the fight. Holy. Massive splash damage from the... Uh, from the fire over there. The lot of infantrymen are being focused down by the Arbalest. This is not great news for Karen. He's down to 30 population versus 41. CV definitely doing work here. 
Oh man, keep sliding that hero on fire too. That's a nice teleport endo. Damages some of those arbalists. Are these even gonna get, get out there? Oh. Yeah, I think the population def difference has just solidified itself right now. City reclaimed a lot of the outside regions of the map. This is looking great for him and he's still got some creeps to kill. He's got the skellies to kill. This is really the best time to do it, I think. He is also out of potions, by the way, so that's another great will to re re great way to refill on those potions. There we go. So the stone cutter is going down. How's the economy going? How is tier two coming along? Oh, already got tier two. Already got forge. But still only gonna make Arbalest. Wolfguard Commander getting a little bit low there. Oh, the sun's getting real low, big girl. Watch out. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. That's a level five. Level four only? What? Meanwhile, Civi is gonna get level five from killing this frontier outpost. There's quite a few infantrymen now. It's gonna be teleport in. Very nice priest plate from Civi. You gotta love it. Yeah, I guess this. Arbalist spam together with the outpost helping out is just fantastic. There's a support garrison now uh, Which is only making infantrymen weirdly enough. No medics to be seen iron mines are on the way. No doubt for both players uh, Yeah, CV has stomped in this fight once more Wait, did the hero go down? <gasps> oh Man, CV has unlocked Starfall which is gonna be cast any moment now there is Starfall coming in. No? There it is. Oh my god, it killed like four workers. And I seriously doubt that base has any more chances. The, uh, the Arbalists just have to run on foot. And they're gonna get smashed as they move. Frontier Outpost is almost definitely dead. Let's see how the iron economy goes, though. There's nothing here. There's nothing. Oh, there's one iron mine. There's one more iron mine here. And that's it. Uh, yeah. Karen's gonna need more than that. Looks like these barracks are working with mostly arbalists and infantrymen still. Teleport in production for Civi, as well as Arbalists, and he's taking down this base, taking over the outpost. So just enjoying this big load of map control he's got. Second set of creeps being taken over by Karn, that would be a good way to catch up in experience, but it's all it is at this point, just catching up. He's lost his army too many times. So he's probably one of the tournament favorites, by the way. He's got massive, massive ways to deal siege damage at this point. He's got the cap catapult with 300 siege DPS. Uh, or damage per attack, rather. And he's got Starfall, which also uh, deals a high amount off siege damage. Got a knockback from our Wolfguard commander. But is it gonna be nearly enough? Oh my god, the Arbalist just focused her down like she's nothing. With that, Sivi reaches level 6. And he's got not only the Arbalist superiority, but also he's got infantrymen on top. He's got the catapult, he's got his hero still alive. And he can upgrade his barracks anytime he so chooses. Uh, Definitely a little bit supply blocked though, uh, population blocked rather in this case. Abilities are being made. 
that's the human method of expanding your population cap. You still get some from your sectors, but not much at all. Certainly not enough. Okay, how big is this army? Holy crap. It's 23 hoplists. Karen has got an army, but only his arbalist count is comparable. He's getting some keepers. Will he be able to keep this frontier post alive? I don't know. Blizzard! It's definitely nice to have that catapult now. It speeds up clearing out these bases so much. Even the best Earth Shatter and uh, Whirlwind combos are just not gonna cut it, I don't think. There's just not enough army for Karen right now. 86 population versus 120 in a mirror matchup. Always a recipe for disaster to lose a fight and, you know, to get pushed afterwards. Civi taking one region after he takes them out every time. He's slowly creeping closer to Karen's base. This cannot take much longer. He could also Godstone his way up here and just go down right on top of the production. I wonder if he knows about those barracks being right there, actually. Ah, uh, Wolfguard Commander going down again. 650 XP being granted for that. Oh, man. That is likely going to be another Frontier Outpost going down. Only one Keeper. Only the one. It's more Drill Halls. Some more Keepers are underway. They should help, but... I mean, even they aren't that great against such a huge army. They just look fancy. Frontier Outpost could be taken down here, though. Uh, Civi did transport out very far. He's buying something. Oh. Okay, what did he get? He's buying potions. Frontier Post is going to go down. That's a fine sacrifice for this. He's also getting a mana potion. He's got skills available. He's got level 1 hailstorm. hailstorm. He's got... Uh, he's not getting incinerate, funnily enough. And he's also not getting absorb the elements. Uh, no fancy items have been bought except for the uh, battle mage helmet, which is giving him some regeneration there. Keepers are doing some work, but this is not going to be great. They're uh, chilled right now, so their movement speed isn't that great either. Of course, that chilling can be uh, comboed with the Ice Frost, the Biting Frost thing, which deals extra damage to chilled enemies. Double, in fact. Seeing some Griffins! Hell yeah! By the way, when you upgrade them, they have a Screech ability, which uh, blocks the units beneath them from moving. It's it's seriously very strong. It takes one moment to micro and allows you to jump right on top of the enemies. Here's the academy. You could also be making mentalists and flag bearers, as I'm pretty sure Civi is now tier 3. And he's soon going to be working on his Aria production, no doubt, when he, once he has a little bit more resources. But for his current purposes, this is perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, there's only Aria in, in these two regions, I think. Sorry, this region only? What? Wait, where else is the Aria? I'm confused. It's just this one region. What? That is so difficult to get to. Is there some in here? Oh, there there we go. There's some here. But anyways, we're not going to see the Aria tier 3 units. Uh, the Griffins are going to be the end of this as Karen calls the game. 
And Sivi takes the first match. Overall, that looks really, really even, but to be honest, a lot of the kills were from, uh, like, sectors and, uh, and creeps. Wow, so much more hero damage dealt by CV, oh my god. Actually, I think Karen has upgraded his hero with uh, all sorts of items, but we missed it. And even Karen reached level three, uh, tier 3, but we didn't get to see it. Oh, only at the end did he upgrade the, the hero equipment, so... Yeah, we didn't have much time to notice that, sorry. Once again, with the pause at the start, to make sure everyone gets the experience they deserve. Let's go. We got, in the yellow again, Sivi playing as the orcs. He's, he's gone random to get this result. And in the blue, we have got Karen, who really needs your support right now, as he's down 1-0. Uh, both players are sending their scouts forward. Oh, this uh, scout is taking a really bad beating. You gotta shift click around these creep mobs in order to avoid heavy fire. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the occultist, so a different hero from the shaman. All the here, all the races have two heroes, by the way, guys. And uh, where's the? It's gonna be Wolfgard commander again. We've seen the other human hero though, so this is fine. Uh, let's talk about the occultist a little bit, guys. So, this hero is... Has not been seen today. We got concentration picked up. We got brute force picked up. We got blood sacrifice. Which basically applies bleeding to enemy creatures around. It's an instantaneous effect. And we got demonic pact, which is the red circle that you've seen. It damages enemies within. A little bit. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Wait. Oh, no, 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 it does not deal damage, it just makes your unit stronger. And, um, if the caster is not within, then basically you, uh, you, you take damage as you're outside. So, basically what the occultist does is, it leeches damage from bleeding units. Uh, it leeches health from bleeding units, sorry. So, it's very, very strong at staying alive. Uh, it also does not require any mana. It's... you could sell the focus potions, you use health to trigger your spells, and this map is basically one of the most large-scale, uh, fighty late-game maps. There's nothing in the center here. Absolutely nothing. There's two golems here, which for some reason... Ah, there we go. There's two golems on the side that you can take. Very difficult job. Occultist has leveled up again. See what has been picked up. There's Nullify, which is basically a pull. And it also applies stasis to enemies for one second. Karen, meanwhile, has gone with the standard picks, same as last time. Whirlwind, Fatal Blow, and Shadow Strike. Uh, going to go out and try to harass regions uh, while upgrading all his already captured ones. This is one of those maps also which sometimes can go to Titans. Uh, as late game is just a lot more common here. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure if orcs are fantastic here because basically what you want is orcs having a lot of regions. That's their natural habitat. Uh, it allows them to mass produce units a lot. Not the case on this map. There's, It's pretty much going to be a 50-50 split most of the time. And yeah, it's a long peace period as well, so has anyone seen any good movies lately? Uh, there's no X set to co-cast with me right now, so I have to ask the chat. <laughs> also, the people later on YouTube, please share movies. I'm gonna be here for two millennia, waiting for the first fight. 
hopefully Sibby will uh, do some pester or uh, just regular goblin scoundrel harassment. It's, it's definitely a very good move to just make a few of those guys and put them in every single region. They're so cheap and you get two of each spawn so... Highly recommend that. It's very difficult to deal with worker harassment in general. Let's talk a little bit about the war pit. The orcs, they... Uh, they're locked in units so what that means is basically uh, it's not just enough to have the resources and the right tech level they also need to unlock the units with the technology so um, that slows them down a little bit but considering that they don't have to make barracks I think it's more than fair occultist doing job are we gonna see any items purchased not yet Oh! Oh! Sivi! Sivi has purchased a uh, level 2 armor. You don't see that much. Usually people just skip that and go for level 3 immediately, but that is expensive. Lots of lumber mills. Lots of lumber mills. Obviously orcs have to build a lot. Now I've got all the regions. Are we gonna see a quick upgrade or are we gonna see units US spam? Looks like scoundrels are being made everywhere. Yeah, this is the change, guys. 346 DPS. Uh, damage per attack, actually. It's always damage per attack in this game. Normally it's just 115, but as long as you're in that demonic tact aura, it's significantly higher. Uh, he has sold his focus potions. See what Karen has been up to. Uh, getting the Medusa as well. So, yeah, I mean, our two players are roughly in the same spot. Doesn't look like any of the infantrymen have died either. And that's a level 4. Is this the only spot for Arya? I think it is. Oh, there's two spots for Arya, so... Yeah, it should be a really good late game map. Level 2 is being researched. And here comes the scoundrel trying to bully this outpost flag. I am not sure it can go up, to be honest. Like, uh, if that hero goes for the demonic pact, oh, actually gets to steal one of those potions. But this DPS, you can smack down those outposts real fast. Oh, finishes up just in time, just in the nick of time, but the infantrymen are gonna die. So the Wolfguard commander is all by herself. With a few infantrymen coming in. Double barracks in production, but no other production right now. This could be really rough for that scouting post. The workers could be killed as well fairly easily. And yeah, these hunters are not gonna get to do their job either. Workers dying. Uh, scouting post slowly getting lower and lower, but the gobos are getting picked off. Wait, what is the scouting post shooting at? Looks like the gobo. Oh, the wolf card commander goes down! What? Has Karen not... Karen didn't want to use the healing potions. That could be a very, very fast disaster here. Uh, losing any amount of regions to orcs is always horrible. Especially if they're as good as Sibi is. Lots of extra resources being picked up, but for the most part, it's still just wood and food. We're not seeing any iron. Are we even tier 2? Yes, we are tier 2, and the drummers and the pesters have been unlocked in the war pit. Uh, no work on this yet with the hunters and the brutes. We've still not seen any brutes. So actually, we've got some early harass going on, but it's not really harass, it's a straight up attack.
He's found resources. He's picked up some resources. Oh, we weren't on Civis View, so we can't see how much it was, but that's nice. Uh, basically, when you kill bases and there were some workers around or he was upgrading or something, uh, you, you just get a bit of uh, resources left behind to pick up. The Arblades are going to make pushing into this really difficult, especially if they focus fire the gobbles. Uh, but they even focus fire the occultist, and you know it wasn't too bad. Death resilience is activated. That's one of the, the spells that you can go for, or rather the passive. Um, when upgraded, I think that's really really powerful. Like these stack with each other, and if health is below seventy five percent, they start activating. So it's like really insane. So you get minus thirty percent. Uh, Plus 30% resistance is basically up to. And the weaker the cultist is, the stronger he becomes in terms of resistance. Nice focus fire on the occultist, but once again, he's not gonna die, he's just gonna take a potion and it's cool. Meanwhile, the gobble count is rising 52 population versus 35. Nice pickup on the. Uh, on the drummer there. I like it. Forge is coming up. Blood Forge is up. All at the front base, uh, very ballsy. See the production coming in. Still just scoundrels. Hunters, hunters coming in. There's iron somewhere. There's three iron mines in the back. And, uh, of course there's none here. Space doesn't support iron, but this one does. Three more iron mines, and we're probably gonna see additional upgrades sometime soon. Fortified outposts here now. Watchtowers being made to help keep the space alive. Will be particularly useful against the melee units. Need a player at level 5 yet? Uh, this is definitely one of those maps where you'll fight at level 4 a lot. So if you're here or relies a lot on the, on the ultimate abilities, you're not going to get them very easily here. Definitely one of those maps. Here's the thing though. Being in enemy territory like this kind of secures this golem. So... Uh, at some point, I would expect CV to go for it. Especially once he has the Hunters. Bloodforge is working. And Scoundrels are gonna be recruited in packs of three. It doesn't even increase the costs. It's insane. That would already be good if it increased the cost. Because Orcs struggle a little bit with the production speed. But, I mean, not even needing that is just sick. Uh, I don't think that Occultist really wants to charge into this right now. <laughs> He's trying to bait the fire, but his scoundrels and hunters and pastors are doing the work. A Wolfguard Commander has to run. What's this skill? Uh, Sandrine Burst. Target has bleeding, deal extra single target damage. Yeah, of course. Current runs. No upgrades, no armor. No potions, that's not good news. And Civi still has the level 2 armor. armor there we go. To so that heavy armor will significantly increase the resistances as long as it's equipped. Karen, 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 equip it. Do the click. Click it. Oh, he's gonna forget, isn't he? Well, we're gonna see the resistances change anyway. We don't have to keep that tab open. And he's supply blocked at 50 out of 50. Is he making any... Uh, billets? Don't see any. It's not good. Oh no, how long has he been supply blocked? This army hasn't changed much since the last few fights.
has it been equipped? Oh my god. Dude, you gotta equip that. See, he still hasn't gotten home for anything else, but his arm is getting really scary right now. There's five hunters, and that number is only gonna go up. It's gonna be eight hunters now. I don't think that Wolfguard Commander will live, and you know why that is? I, I think you know why that is. Oh, dude, that is painful. That hurts. Still 50 population max, so I think CV just has a lot of momentum right now. He's maxed out. He can easily take down this base. Farm transition starting up. Um, this is the point where you no longer really need to build a lot of buildings. So you can just uh, recycle a lot of your woodcutters and start making your other stuff. Especially the farms. Every military unit costs food. So it makes a lot of sense. Okay, I'm still remaking the hero. It's gonna take a while. Hopefully he has equipped the armor. Oh no, still not equipped. I'm not sure he'll notice at this point, like, it's so easy to forget if you don't do it immediately. But I think GG is being called right here. And yeah, CV takes the series 2-0. And we're gonna be moving into round 2 from here on out. Very well played. Very unfortunate mistakes there for Karen that ultimately cost him the game. Let's see what happened. Exactly. Wow, look at that unit production count. And he even kept up in the unit's kill department very, very nicely. I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't seen a mage pick, to be honest, out of Karen. Would be very nice to deal with those uh, gobbles with all that AoE. Now, yeah, maybe next time. Resources gathered were actually comparable enough. Considering the asymmetry of the army strength. And yeah, I think the hero experience and the and the gold spending is just so important with Civi having that extra item, having all those potions as well. Showed some great games.